All right, so a quick video, or I hope it's quick, on what is my everyday carry knife. This is a Rough Rider slip. Uh, I watched William's Knife Life, his video today. I ripped a bunch of mineral oil into it, and it totally revitalized this leather from Rough Rider. I guess, yeah, it's probably from Pakistan. This was three bucks, um, and it works great. I actually just yesterday ordered like 20 a total of six more too small too medium too large 25 dollars or so is shipping more um just because these are so handy and some of the stuff that i carry like in my backpack is gonna forever live in these little things so but anyway this is a made in america version of this um somebody released it but I'm not so concerned simply because there are so many versions of this knife just like this, just like, except for the, maybe the jigging, that are not made in this country that I'm not so worried about it. I'm just going to talk about this pattern, which is a sunfish, obviously. Um, I got this big ass main blade, very thick, uh, that I find very handy. You can it's, it's thick enough where you can uh, pair an apple and it won't just fall off. You can spread peanut butter, all the food uses, but it's also handy enough. It's very useful. What I've noticed from the difference between this Made in America one versus other ones, it's very, the, the tension on it is just right. I'm not straining to get out a blade. Um, One thing I wanted to talk about was this is 440A. The problem with 440A and steels like it, 8CR13 MOV is basically 440B, kind of. Um, 9CR13 MOV or 9CR14 MOV would be like 440C. I'm not sure what 440A would be like, but basically you're going to have to touch this up a lot. And not just on a strop. I, I won't. I don't think that that does it enough. You have to rearrange it and set when things become off kilter with the edge. You have to be able to set it back like this, and that takes either a, I use rods or a stone. Um, the only time that stropping is going to help you get back in shape is when you don't have anything off off out alignment, out of alignment, so to speak. And just like so many other people on YouTube have described it like if you imagine the blade is really a bunch of saw teeth right and if when they all align bam you got that sharp ass blade and when you polish it they they like even especially more what people don't realize a polished blade if I were to cut myself with this this would be through my body before I felt it you cannot a polished blade cuts you before you feel it straight up that's not a lie it's not an exaggeration so I keep it real polished, keep it good to go. Um, but it's just a, a very soft steel. So even if like I was opening a whiskey bottle yesterday, I was slicing open the, uh, the wax top and this clanked down on the glass and I had to redo it. It only takes a second. It's not a big deal. Um, but th this is why there's a secondary blade, right? Cause if I had, to, you know, like let's say somebody's choking on something and I'm opening up their esophagus to put a straw into it like it's a, you know, made for TV movie. Um, I would, man, I would pop this open. This thing is so sharp. Bam. Open that guy or whoever up. Um, but I'm just, this is what I carry uh, pretty much day to day. Um, I try to mix it up, but I'm just not really one of those knife guys. I have so many knives, but I don't cycle through them. I find, you know, out of, honestly, out of, I have probably, well, I've been, I've been cutting back. I've been selling them and I'm picking up GECs to slim in the collection. So I probably have less than a hundred now, but, you know, I pick out a couple, you know, maybe I'll rotate through that, I like guess, set or two. But honestly, I, uh, this is, I've been, I've been trying to carry less stuff. And this thing has everything I need. One thing I do like, even though I, I do realize most people don't, you see how this is kind of a recurve? That's actually going to help you cut things like rope. You can see myself in that blade. 
Um, this is just a really great knife. If you get a chance to pick up an American-made sunfish, this one is, or at least it was assembled in America. I have the paperwork for it, you know, somewhere else. But uh, the thing is, it's just, a, a, even if it's not, it's a super handy pattern. Just because it's, you know, you've got this four finger grip. I mean, you've even got a little bit extra, right? You've got a stiff spring. It's not gonna, you know, you. it would be impossible. I don't even know how it would be possible to, for this to close on me. Unless it like, I was cutting timber or something like the same at a lumber yard and a big piece of wood comes down and just slams this on my hands. Yeah, you cut yourself. You probably have to go to the hospital. But um, that's, I mean, how often is that going to be what happens? But anyway, this is the knife I carry the most right now. And I figured I would put it up on YouTube, so to speak.